Hi, I'm Ruben Saltzman with Structure Tech Home Inspections, and today I'm going to talk to you about shutoff valves. So there's three different types of valves that I'm going to cover today. You got stop valves, gate valves, and ball valves, also known as quarter turn valves. The first valve I'll talk about, probably my least favorite of these, is the stop valve. Stop valves are good for water only, and to know whether they're open or shut, you simply look at the stem. If the stem is fairly long, like I'm showing here, the valve is open. If it's closed, we'll go ahead and close this real quickly, and here's a side view of it closing while I'm doing that. Now it's shut all the way, and it, because it's actually coming down inside of this opening. The drawbacks to these, they are much more prone to leaking, and when they haven't been used in a long time, they can be difficult to operate. Sometimes to fix the leak, all you need to do is take a wrench, you go to this nut, you tighten that nut down, sometimes that'll fix a leak. But remember I said sometimes, not always. Sometimes the packing inside needs to be replaced. So that's your stop valve. Next, we've got a gate valve. Gate valves are also only used for water. To tell whether these are open or shut, you're out of luck. I'm sorry, you can't do it by looking at it. Because the way these work is when, you, when we turn this handle, you're actually moving a gate up inside here. And if we contrast the difference, if we contrast these two, you can see that on a gate valve, you've got this big, this big thick thing for a gate to slide up inside of. On a stop valve, not so. So it doesn't matter what position the gate is in, there's no stem showing here, it's right next to the handle. So we can't tell whether these are open or shut by looking at them. And then finally, you've got your ball valve, also known as a quarter turn valve. These are good for water, oil, and gas. And as the name implies, there is a ball inside of here. And as we turn the valve, this ball, oop, I'm turning the wrong way. As we turn the valve, the ball rotates inside there to shut off the flow of whatever is coming through here. And to know whether these things are open or shut, all you need to do is look at the handle. If the handle is parallel with the pipe or with the valve, it's open, you can see through it. And then if it's perpendicular, we do this, it is shut. You can no longer see through it. So it's, it's easy to tell whether these are open or shut. I love that it's only a quarter turn that makes it really easy to operate these things. They're much less prone to getting stuck and they're much less prone to leaking. So love those. And then finally, I'm gonna talk about a third type, which is a close cousin of the quarter turn. It's, it's also a quarter turn, but uh, these are not considered ball valves. These are called lube valves, lube valves, or grease valves. And the way these work, it, it's also a quarter turn. You give it a quarter turn to open it or close it, but the difference here is that there's not a ball inside here. It's actually this valve that relies on grease to make a seal. And these are only meant for gas. You don't run water through these things. And you can distinguish between the two of these. Let's look at one side here. On the handle side, it's kind of tough to tell, but if we flip it over, we look at the other side of these. On the traditional ball valve, there's nothing here, but on a grease valve, you've got a nut on the back side. And the reason it's there is so that you can take that nut out and you can take the whole core of this apart. You slide this thing out of here and it's gonna be all greased up if it's proper. Now, if it's been used for a while and all that grease is gone or dried out or whatever, it's not in there anymore, it's not gonna make a tight seal and you can have natural gas leaking out of this thing. We find a lot of gas leaks at these grease valves. For that reason, Anytime we come across these on a home inspection, we say, this is an old type of valve. It'd be a good idea if you replace that valve whenever you, whenever you replace the appliance that it goes to because nobody wants to have valves, gas valves on their house that need to be regularly maintained. And it is kind of a pain to maintain them because you need to have somebody turn off all of the gas to the house, go to the valve, take it apart, grease it up, put it back together, turn the gas back on, and then relight your pilot lights assuming you got some pilot lights in your house. So they, they are much more maintenance heavy if you got a grease valve, but they, they haven't been used in a long time. We only find these at fairly old houses. So 
That sums it up. Those are our three basic types of shutoff valves. Thank you so much for watching. Take care.